essentially he's a marionette puppet, but much, much more. There's a team of incredibly fit, talented, amazing dancers that motivate Kong's limbs and body parts. The King's Company. Up in the balcony is a team of three what we call voodoo puppeteers. He has 45 axes of movement that are operated by the voodoo team. Anything from an eye blink to a shoulder shrug. Kong has 16 servos in his lovely face that move all sorts of manner of bits and pieces. And they work in concert, so in some ways he has an infinite amount of expressions available to him. He's not so tough, he's just made of beanbag material. He's, um, he's <laughs> there was this attraction to this muscular form, this really simple, bold sculptural element uh, of the form of Kong and it epitomized for us what Kong needed to be. But there's a lovely vulnerability about it because that, that's what this story is about. Kong is just a bunch of steel and fabric and inflatables. <laughs> but what is it that makes us believe him? And I think it's in the audience. It's this lovely sense of imagination that we all have. It's this willingness to believe that things are alive.